Hello everybody, welcome in Alicante. Today I speak about the topic of managing your money as a digital nomad. Being a digital nomad is probably not something you will do for all your life. Sooner or later, you will have to stop to settle and when you stop, you want to stop and have a, a good situation a nice place to live a nice lifestyle you don't want to be wow in a situation where you say wow i travel like 20 years and now i have nothing i have no home and i have only a low paid job you don't want to be in that situation for those reasons as a digital nomad most of your money should go to investing or saving that's really important people keep telling me oh you make a good living but you spend you uh, you don't spend a lot yeah don't spend a lot I am I am uh, investing my money most of it I invested so much that probably next year during the next two years I will buy a new home someplace maybe in Mexico some other place maybe here in Spain because I invested a lot of money I remember in 2020 after the crypto market crash of, uh, of March 2020, I bought a lot of the, of the cryptocurrency and, and later they went up and then I made uh, 200k, 200,000 euro. So I have enough to buy a nice, nice place. Mama, I, I will probably make more in the future. You have to invest to prepare for your future. Maybe you, you will meet someone in your travel. You say, yeah. Uh, uh, we, I want to start a family. I want my kids to go to a nice school. You have to plan your future ahead. So for those reasons, most of your money you have to invest. You can invest in so many things. In, in, uh, in crypto, in uh, precious metal, like gold and silver. You can buy stock. There's many investment products. Next to your investing, you need also saving. You need a type of uh, emergency fund in case of something happen and you need like really a lot of cash and you need this cash really quickly. One of my friends was in this situation. He was stuck in some country and he needed to go to some other place. And uh, yeah, he paid a lot. He paid like 5,000 euros. To, to for his travel but he had he had an emergency and that 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 didn't cause so much problem because uh, he had this this stash of money that he could tap into in case of an emergency you need the, that also so one part of your money you will be will go to investing another will go to emergency like um, you no know, as a as a digital nomad anything can happen just anything uh, some crazy 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 thing can happen to you and to get out of a situation perhaps you will need a lot of money to pay this may happen I've heard story I don't want to scare you so I will not tell you some of the story I've heard but in some case yeah you need uh, you need a call this fold money you need able to fold in you, you, you need to be if you're in any place in the world in that place, in two days, you must, you must be able to fold. Buy a flight, leave, and stop everything immediately. And this can cost you a lot. You, you may have to pay a lot in X, Y, Z, depending on what the problem uh, happened to you. You need an emergency fund and you need an investing fund. Another important thing that you need is a banking or maybe several banking solutions that work for you. I know some people, they use a system called WISE. It's an app and you can do some financial transactions. Apparently, it's really good. Personally, I am with Revolut and I am using other banking solutions. One time, um, I was uh, in Costa Rica and uh, yeah, they cloned my card and then use it for, uh, for to do bad things, to, to, to rob me. But with Revolut, there was a system to, to block all those transactions. So that was really helpful. But this card, I had to, to freeze the card during a few months. And, but I had a backup card. Something you need is a backup card. In fact, 
you need bank card from many institutions. Personally, I've <laughs> guess how many cards I have. I've five cards. Two were from uh, Revolut, and uh, three other. I have the um, a card from uh, Crypto.com. Really convenient, so I can sell some cryptocurrency, convert them into fiat currency, and use the card, the debit card for for uh, everyday purchase. So that's one of the the, the cards I have, and then I have two more cards from a bank. So I have five cards. I am not in a situation. Oh yeah, I lost my card. I cannot do anything. You cannot be in that situation. Never. Like, like I remember one time in um, in Mexico. I lost my my card. I lost my Revolut card. And uh, if they send me a new one, they will send you at my home address in my country in Belgium. They will not send it in in Mexico. But I had the second Revolut card, so it was not an issue. You can never be in a situation where you don't have uh, a way to make payments. Always have many backup. Always. Even if you make a good living, do not overspend on a nice hotel, accommodation, and uh, Airbnb. Be frugal. I mean, you have to decide ahead of time, okay, I will not spend more than this money. Even if you make more, you need to discipline yourself. Always remember, the priority is to invest money and save money. One day, perhaps you will want to start a family or have a different lifestyle. Maybe you, in the future you will want to have a hench with horse and, and something like this and have a quiet life in a nice country. And you need the fund to make this new life. Priority to investing, saving, be frugal. That's my advice to manage your money as a digital nomad. See you soon.